Hey, what's up, guys? Shauna Steele back with another video for you guys. And I decided I was going to go back to my 600 pound life. I like checking out other stuff for you guys. It's pretty interesting. And obviously, I'm going to check out whatever I think is interesting. But this is something that I have so much experience with. Obviously, I lived a lot of my adult life around the 600 pound mark. And I feel I can give a lot of insight on this, even if I do joke around a lot about it. I mean, in the, at the end of the day, I have experience with it. So let's check out this one. Woman at risk of becoming immobile and see what's going on with her. I can't believe how hard my life is now because of how big I've gotten. Everything is a struggle when you get to my size. I mean, when you wake up first thing in the morning, it really be like that. Like, it sucks so bad first thing. Everything friggin' hurts. Imagine your knees aching, your ankles hurt. Those first couple steps to the bathroom or whatever are just friggin' agony on your ankles. It friggin' sucks. Everything is stiff at that point. And plus, that bed she's on sounded like hell. Like, it didn't exactly look comfortable or anything. But as painful as it is, I get up. Let's see your crotch and real quick. the most quick. difficult part of my morning is the first time I have to stand. My legs hurt so bad. Just the thought of moving them makes me want to cry. I have... I've done that exact same limp to the bathroom because I know exactly what she's feeling in her legs right now because mine would swell like that too sometimes and it hurts. Every step friggin' hurts to hell. So, like, I feel for her right now because I know she's going through it, but that's just what it is until you lose weight. No cartilage left in my knees to keep my bones from rubbing together because of all the weight that's been on them for so many years. It's just rubbed it all away. And I'm so scared that soon, I'm just not gonna be able to get up anymore. I mean, yeah, that's what happens. If you sit there long enough, eventually you gain enough weight, your, all your muscles atrophy, and you just can't do it anymore. And then you're bed bound, which was my biggest fear. And it looks like she's a smoker too, which I also was at 600 pounds. But she's smoking on the freaking toilet. Like, come on, lady, at least smoke in your bed like everybody else and try to burn the house down. But, of course, my 600-pound life has to get you taking a pee real quick. Like, what the hell? We don't want to see her pee. Because every day is a little bit less I can And then handle. we gotta zoom in on her hoo-ha. Bro, like, okay. Cleaning myself is one of the last things I still try to do on my own. Well, that's good. At least you're doing that. And she has one of the little benches. I didn't have that. But people always get mad at them. And I'm one of the people that gets mad at them for the bathroom scenes, right? Because I don't feel it's necessary. But at the end of the day, it's an entertainment. It's a TV show, right? They're going to do whatever they can for ratings. And if you're successful and lose weight, you are no longer entertaining. People love to watch a train wreck. As sad as that is... It would be way more entertaining and way more you would watch me if I started gaining all this weight back now. And it'd be like, no, stop, Sean, why? But it would be entertaining as hell to watch me crash and burn. Just saying, I'm not going to do it, but it would be funny. But the process of it is physically exhausting. And it's getting harder because of the pain in my knees. And even the weight of my arms to wash my hair wears my arms out now. I mean, I'm not sure about wearing your arms out just because they're a little friggin' heavy. That's a little extreme because you are just sitting at the end of the day. But yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Standing in the shower friggin' sucked. Like, just standing there for a matter of five minutes, you are winded by the end of it. It sucks. You get out and you're drying off. You sit on the toilet because you don't have the energy to stand. That is pathetic, but that is also really what happened to me. So that's just my experience. But at the rate my legs are going, I'm afraid I'm gonna need help soon. Yeah, you definitely are. That's what I was scared of. 
but also at the same time, they blur them out on this screen. That's why I couldn't be on this TV show. They would have had to blur out the whole damn screen with me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a psychopath. And I can't let it get that bad. I'm already disgusted with myself. I don't even feel like a human being. That's sad that she really feels that way, because even when I was 600 pounds, I was probably sitting there washing myself, like, my milkshake rings, and I was just, I'm a psychopath, so of course I was doing something like that, but I still thought I was the shit at that weight, I just was a less mobile shit. <laughs> When I look in the mirror, I don't see a 600 pound woman. I see myself as a monster. Okay. All I see is just fat upon fat upon fat. I would avoid looking at myself naked in the mirror because I didn't like seeing what I saw. But now I can't get enough of myself in the mirror even though I got all this loose skin and stuff going on. I'll look at myself in the mirror all day. I love me some me. So, but yeah, I know exactly how she feels. It's tough to see yourself when you've put yourself in that state. And I know people say, you didn't wake up 600 pounds one morning. But once you hit the fours, it's like, ah, screw it. I'm already this far gone. And then you hit the fives and you're like, nah, there's not really a scale that can get me anymore. So I don't know what I weigh. Next thing you know, you're 600 pounds and you're on a freaking TV show showing your hoo-ha to the whole world. And I can't believe that I let myself get this bad. And if I didn't have help from my family, then I don't even know what I'd do. Honey? It's always the skinny guys, too, that, like, I don't know if they're, like, fear of missing out on fat or something. They just want some weight themselves. Like, I don't know what the whole thing is, but you're attracted to what you're attracted to. But it's always the skinny guys. They like you need to tie a board to their ass so they don't fall in, but it's always them. I don't get it. I need you to help me get ready. All my stuff's in the third drawer down. Everyone has to be my caretaker now. Where's your shorts? And if it weren't for my husband James, I don't know what I would do. I mean, it's gotta be really hard for your caretaker to also be your lover. Because I guarantee there's not much intimacy there. Even though James has got some fingers and stuff, he can go to town. I don't know. Maybe he still goes crazy with his little ass. But if she's having trouble walking, standing, doing all that, she's not exactly getting on top for fear of killing you. Or, you know, she's very limited sexually. Just keep it real. Pretty much anything that a person would need to stand up to do or anything that involves something she can't reach from her chair is what I need to do for Robin. Sad, I'll but I'll do true. what I need to do. You know, whatever it takes. Because I love that woman with everything I have in me. See, that's sweet that this guy is like, I'm sitting here joking, but that's genuinely sweet that he's willing to do that for her and be there for her. And he's not going to give up on her. So I applaud him for that. But he's also probably helping her like maintain this lifestyle and gain more weight because he's got to be the one bringing her food. Sad, but true. One of my biggest fears is becoming bed bound. And I feel like I'm living my own nightmare. And if my husband has to go to work, either my brother Chris or my nephew Garrett has to come over to be with me. Damn, so she wants somebody there 24 seven. She can't even like, well, she can walk, so she could do stuff on her own. Like, she could spend the day by herself and then wait for him to get back. I don't know why she has somebody come over. She could do some stuff. It's just either not wanting to or not willing to try, on, in all honesty. Because I have to have somebody around. And that's embarrassing. I love you. I love you, too. I'll call you when I get to work. Okay. Have a good day, babe. Look at the puppy. There was a cat too, for all you cat lovers who got mad as hell at me for saying I don't like cats. It's not that I don't like cats, it's I'm a dog guy. I just prefer dogs. Cats are also cute. I just don't want one, because I think they're way too sneaky. 
If a dog is going to bite me, it's going to growl at me. If a cat's going to bite me, it's going to friggin' karate kid off the ceiling fan and claw in my face. And I'm not going to see it coming. That's why I don't like cats. But I can't wait for them to come over. <laughs> now that because I went off on that Because whoever comes rant. over to help me usually brings something to eat. And food is what I live for. Bro. So I get so anxious waiting for my first meal of the day. I said in one of my other videos that I don't think I ate that much throughout the day. And I still don't think... I know I ate a lot. Don't get me wrong. Thousands upon thousands. I had to be over 6,000 calories a day. But I only drank soda for 18 years straight. No water. Sean had no water. I don't know how I'm alive. And that's when I was surprised when the doctor's like, everything's functioning just fine. I'm like, no. My kidneys, something has to be hurt from all this soda or whatever. But... I literally drank so many calories in a day, it was insane. Hello. Hello. Well, Christ, your nephew's Hello. pushing five. Thank you. Awesome. Strong for your drink. At this point, it's like he's her, he's definitely her enabler, but he's also enabling himself so he's going to get himself some food and then just getting you what you want also maybe you kick him some gas money he gets a couple extra burritos i don't know what's going on there but yeah definitely there's a weight issue going on with both of them thank you oh eating and getting food are my absolute favorite things to do you think and it's one of the only times that i am truly happy because I can forget about all the pain and misery of my life just for a moment. So many people turn to food for comfort and they have some kind of, you know, psychological, some kind of something going on there. They need therapy or something. That's why doctor now always pushes the therapy. I went to one therapy session for them to approve me for surgery, which everyone has to. But I didn't need follow up because there was really no secret behind food tastes good. Sean likes to eat. We figured it out, guys. I come over to help Robin every day. She has struggles with her mobility, and she has a hard time doing stuff on her own. That's why she has me come out here and help her out. Hmm. That's what family does for family. I mean, yeah, but also at the same time, you don't got anything going on through the day. You can just afford to be her Uber delivery man all friggin' day. And also, I saw him dipping his fries in ranch. Do you guys dip your fries in ranch? I'm not a big ranch guy. I like ketchup, but I like ketchup mixed with ranch. That's good. Where the hell that came from, I don't know. Most of the time, all I want to do is eat or go get food. I love going to the supermarket to shop. At least she's Usually going. Garrett's the one who takes me because he likes to eat almost as much as I do. Well, who called that one? Yeah, I mean, he can't be much behind you. He's pretty big. Your wheelchair looks like it does him just right. But at the point where you're waking up in that much pain, it's like, what is your breaking point? What is your rock bottom? When are you just going to say, like, I've had enough. It's time to change my life. Because for me, it was when I hit 30 and I was just like, uh, shit, I'm getting older and this is not beneficial to my health. Like, I need to lose weight now. You ready to go to the store? Yep. Look at so that smile. Kind of partners in crime. <laughs> but going to the supermarket is still one of the hardest things I do. Once I'm in the car, my legs start to swell up and my knees start hurting because I can't bend or straighten them and I can't move them enough to keep them from hurting so bad. It's the craziest thing, but you literally can feel the swelling happening. Like, as it starts, you can feel it happening in your legs, and you know, like, oh shit, tomorrow my legs are gonna be swollen as hell, because it's like this weird pain and, like, pressure you just feel coming. So it's both one of the most exhausting and exciting things that I still do. But I can't wait to get there and be around all that food. Man, you need to get a new hobby, lady. Like, do anything. You could, even if you decide to start catfishing people like the other lady on here or whatever, 
do something. Find a better hobby than freaking sitting in the middle of like the Reese's and the snack aisle and just sitting there and having like a wet dream. Like just find a better hobby. Uh. Damn, that thing's leaning in the back. Even getting around the scooter, I'm in a lot of pain. You guys like when I call it a scooty bike? She got herself a little scooty bike. Get around that store real good. I, oh, when I was 16, I was a cart attendant at Target. I was pushing carts. I used to love when somebody would leave that thing outside and I got to whip it around the store. Like, I would have so much fun on that thing. So I'm only going to have the strength and stamina to do this for a limited amount of time. When we go grocery shopping, Robin usually tells me what to get. Garrett, you want to grab some of those ruffles? Just the cheddar and sour cream? Mm -hmm. And the harvest cheddar of those? Man, even when I was 600 pounds, I still hated going shopping. Like, going to the grocery store, not my favorite thing to do. I just do it because I had to do it. But then they came out with curbside pickup at Walmart, and I didn't have to do shit anymore. I just pull up and you throw it in the back. Like, that was a godsend for a 600 pounder. And she needs help getting the groceries into the cart and whatnot. But I don't feel like I've ever enabled her. And I never feel bad about getting bad food for her. Really, bro? Food. <laughs> really? Like, you have to feel a little bad. Because she's like at rock bottom. Where you are coming over daily to bring her Popeyes, Zaxby's, friggin' Arby's, whatever. You're bringing her all this stuff. So you have to feel somewhat bad for her. It feels like it pushes my body to its limit. But there are so many things I like that I want to get. Me so too. I try to get it all as fast as I can. And just being around uh, all these foods and all these options is such a rush. Bro, what, what's the rush? Like, I don't get it. But... I, I don't like, like, okay, I obviously ate a hell of a lot of junk in my day, and if I could, I still would. I just can't do it. Like, I want to lose weight. Obviously, that stuff tastes good. Obviously, I want it, but I just can't have it. You know what I mean? But at some point, you have to decide that for yourself, lady. Like, Perfect. Get the Neapolitan and get those ice cream sandwiches. And then while we're right here, too, we need cheese for dinner tonight. You guys like Neapol- Oh my god, the giant cheese can? What the hell? That's not even like good cheese. That's nasty processed stuff. But are you guys Neapolitan? I'm more cookies and cream type guy. But yeah, I don't I don't like strawberry ice cream very much. That right there. And grab some butter. The yellow box over here. I think they're putting cheese on their Neapolitan ice cream. And once we're done, it's like we have this little mountain of food that Garrett and I can't wait to get home. Well, and there's eat. some greens in there. I just wish my body could handle doing it more often. Okay. Well, I'm actually surprised that she didn't have more stuff in her cart. Because usually when you're like that size, that amount of food you're going to run through in like two or three friggin' days. That ain't much. But, I mean, you heard her say, like, food was the most important or the most exciting thing in her day. And that's because what else can you do? You just sit around all day and wait to eat something, really. I mean, there's nothing much else going on. You take a shower, that's like the hardest thing you do in a day. And it's really friggin' sad. But that's just a reality when you get to that size. It's not fun. You can't go do a whole bunch of stuff. So I feel for the lady, because I know exactly how your leg swelling and stuff like that feels. But at the same time, if she's still going and buying the friggin' junk food while she's on the friggin' TV show, I don't know what to say to you besides get your ass in gear. But alright guys, like, comment, subscribe. See you later. Peace.